this is gonna be the one. I know some Cali dudes that wanna move to Cape Town. The ancestors of the Africans that they clown. Stay proud in the states where the slaves found. It's the same crown if you black or a shade brown. See, murder is the case now. Bullets on our back in the soil where our face. Hey, Freddie. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. All right, great. so breathe a little. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, you got punked by life today. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> I won't lie. I won't lie. Sorry for anybody who's uh, been listening and uh, wondering where I was, but at least, you know. You you had like the new the new joint they just played now rap yeah, relay yeah. they played yeah, like some zero to hero in the mood nya yeah, now they yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean <laughs> so what up my queen I'm so happy to see you I'm really happy that you're here um I do feel like uh, there's one person who wants a special apology because you know this person came to studio under the guise of coming to see me nah yeah. but within five minutes they're like yo so uh, where's pretty we're, we're pretty yeah. you understand <laughs> so uh, don't tabs. <laughs> is going to uh, require just a personal apology because Yo, what up, John Tabby, you know what I mean? <laughs> what up, my king? <laughs> Nali emotional, Nyana, you know. I, d- I totally thought that he was here to see me, but I was <laughs> rudely corrected. Yo, better late than never. <laughs> Fashionably late. Didn't you hear him saying, oh, but you're right on time. You, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right on time. All right, so it's just gone 28 minutes after 7 o'clock. Pretty Ugly yeah. is definitely here. I'm just going to play the sting, give him just a couple of seconds to get himself together, and then we are definitely going to chop it up. Pretty Ugly. What up, Mark? Man of the moments. Thank you. I'd like to believe so. Everybody is talking about you. Yeah, I- I've heard. <laughs> 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 so how you feel about everybody talking about you and what they're saying or do you not really take in all of the noise um i don't take in a lot of the noise um but i i welcome everything that everyone has been saying you know positive um negative uh there isn't really like much negative to, re- to really be honest with you yeah Outside, you know there's just people's fandoms that are in my mentions a lot you know uh, yo <laughs> let me tell you yeah. so i mean when I first heard it, I was like, oh, okay. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Um, this will this be an interesting conversation. But then I was bored because I was like, oh, the conversation is happening now. I was bored by the fact that that's what it ended up being yeah. about. That was kind of boring um, for me as well. I was like, yo, there is this whole beautiful project and this is what you zero in on right sure. now? Yeah. How does that feel for you? Were you just as bothered or was I in my feelings? It's like I was a little bit bothered, but like in the same breath, I kind of knew that the whole team knew that that's exactly what was going to happen anyway yeah but we're like Ugh, when the when the noise settles down people will come back to the album and listen to it properly and be like wow really dope album but i mean that's what people do on albums anyway outside of there being like maybe songs that may have like some jabs of people people go to whoever they like if there's featured yes. people on the thing they listen to oh my glera oh, yes. oh blackie and they listen to those first before they even listen to the album so I mean I mean the album is out it's still going to be out next yeah. week and next year you know what I mean so people have a lot of time to catch up and uh and really delve into it but I love it I mean the response has been like mad dope I'm getting calls from everybody yeah um industry folks support like a lot of support you know like I don't I'm not usually the type of person who gets like a lot of um how can I say like 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 industry esque support from right. like you know my my peers or whatever and that's not anything that I, I strive for necessarily or that I'm bummed out about you know but dudes who never hit me up before like you know calling me to say yo man that thing is like really really special you're you like know? yo you have my number huh yeah I was just like oh, no really <laughs> it's like yo you still didn't get back to me about that feature though oh uh, tricky it's cool, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so with with all of the response from everybody you know um normal people fans as well as uh industry people as you say um of all the responses that you have seen and personally received which um comment or something that somebody had to say stood out the most for you and why um i see like a lot and it's not even from it won't be from like industry people i think it'll just be from like general like fans or people on on the gram the common consensus is like yo man been following i'm all the all the day ones are, are coming out out of the woodworks out of nowhere you know but i totally understand you know what i'm saying people are like yo man i listened to you back in 2012 and then in 2016 i stopped listening to you because maybe like the style of music that you're doing wasn't you know to uh, my preference right yo but now i'm back the number one stand is back <laughs> and it's crazy because when i look at some of those handles like yo i actually remember this person tweeting wow. about me back in 2015 yeah. you know so it was dope to see like 
you know, like some old fans hop back onto, you know, onto the train and like, yeah. you know. It's, uh, yeah, I think I've, I've I've received so much, like so many good things. I mean, uh, Reason was one of the dudes that, who hit me up and he called me all the way from Ghana. Yeah, he's living and, his And he was just life. like spazzing, you know, he's like, yo, he was just like spazzing. You right. Know? Like a lot of people have been, but I mean, I spoke to him directly. I saw his face. He FaceTimed me, you know, like, yeah. yo, man. So shout out to, to my dude, Osizwe Alcala in there. You know, doing I don't want to talk about it. It hurts me. <laughs> hurts me too. It hurts Arre me. my friends. I go just in there. Like my team laughs at me every day because I'm like, but you see, so but wow, but we all gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, you know? I'm like, oh, and it's because I'm such a fan, yeah. and I'm just like. But at the same time, I was even saying to Instra, I was like, you know what hurts me the most? He's like, what? I'm like, oh, hey, pichur. Oh, oh, hey, pichur. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Now. You can't even really call me. I'm like, man, this guy right? is happy. You bro. can't even be mad because I'm like, oh, hey, pichur. Yeah, man. Shame he's living his best life. They didn't live it, you know? So, uh, pretty ugly. <laughs> yes, uh, do you think people know you can rap now? Well, they, <laughs> that should be, that, that should, you know, that should never come up ever again you know yeah. what, which is what the sole purpose of this album was about man like i i mean 16 years into this thing i don't want to still be proving that i can rap you know 100%. Like, in the last couple of years i've been trying to just like just make good music you know not like for the heads because the heads give you a whole bunch of respect but like i'm not really buying or yeah. like coming to support or you know subscribing to the stuff um you know so but i mean hip-hop is home so it's like it's really dope to to be welcomed and accepted in my home town i guess right. you can say you know yeah um yeah and i mean like hey we wrapped our our butts off you know and that's yes. just the beginning i think soil is just like it's just the start of what you guys are going to be receiving from pretty ugly over the next um half a decade to you know a decade i don't know if i'll push it that far though come on yeah, I mean, do uh, it for us. We lost Caesar. We need you. You know, I, I'll definitely, <laughs> I'll definitely still be making you know music and still be active. Man, I yeah. just, I probably just won't be um, as focused on myself as an artist and mm, say ten years from now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna take a musical break and then we're gonna come back and actually get into the meat of soil. I just need a pretty to settle in a little bit, you know, for us to have our niceties catch up, Nyana. Um, but you are gonna be hearing the sounds of Dead Jungle, and then uh, I'm gonna come through with your questions, my questions, and we're gonna go all the way until we hit eight o'clock right here on the Element. House just got filler. Mr. Instro is here. Mr. Instro decided to come in and be a superstar. <laughs> you know, let me tell you, I love my show and uh, people love my show and people love me, but it's so humbling when, you know, people come through and they're so excited to see Instro. <laughs> oh my God, here <laughs> <laughs> Instro. <laughs> and, then, and then afterwards it's like, Hey Queen, I like, yo! I, give me the excitement. <laughs> give me the intro treatments. Intro, <laughs> intro is a legend, man. Utla. I mean, I'm not saying that you're not. I mean, you're not. Both so, legends, it's, it's, you know? it's pretty ugly, now. If you were the first to break my heart like this, <laughs> it it would be a thing. You, know, you know, I got love for you. Sezeki trades. <laughs> you know, Sezeki trades. All right, it's not about me. It's not about uh, my sibling rivalry with <laughs> Mr. Instro either. It's all about you, pretty ugly, and the beautiful project that is soil um i remember hearing it and i was driving and i was like yo i feel like i must stop the car Jeez, because fire. wow take me through the very very first time you had what has now the idea that is now soil what was happening Jeez, um well, firstly, I gotta give credit to to Vaughn, really. You know, I shout I, out to Vaughn. I linked up with Vaughn about like two years ago. Well, I've known him for years, uh, but two years ago, he sat down with me and he's like, "Yo, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to start something new," you know. And I was like, "Oh, really? I right, cool." Uh, actually, him and Freak came to come see me at my place, right? And I played them a whole bunch of music that I was working on. They were like, "Yo, man, this is ridiculous." I think at the time I just dropped a uh, goat. Yeah, and they're like, "Yo, we love this." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm working on Go to Last." And I was like, "Oh man, that's yo. We'd love to like somehow be, you know, involved there somehow, you know, because um they didn't know that I didn't have management. Okay. Uh, and I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm doing this thing on my own. I'm just trying to, you know." And they're like, "Okay, cool, man. Let's see how we can come through and like um uh, and help you, you know, help you with your vision." Right. And over the next couple of months, you know, we're speaking about different things, and Vaughn was kind of telling me the direction, just like, just just giving me his um reference and examples of like what pretty ugly meant to him and right. like yo bro when i think about you i think about 
a rapper bro he's like i know you can do all the other stuff you can like whatever acting you can this and you can you know you do afro beat here and there yeah. uh, but he's like yo i really love you on your rap stuff you know so yes. it's like yo if 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 you can give me the honors of like executive producing your next thing yo bro we, we will do such so much fire and i'm like yo man i yeah man i miss with you i trust you let's go yeah and uh and I, i really followed his lead and uh and he linked me up with shooter uh, shooter coombs shout mm-hmm. out to shooter coombs you know who's like the main producer on the on the album okay and i think the last thing that should have produced like fully was um shane eagle's yellow yeah and um yeah we linked up with, with shooter obviously i brought my people we cheated 80 herc and like you know we formed like a big coalition and um yeah and, and that's really where it started like in the rap songs just you know a rap really actually featured my glitter was the first song i i worked on really and that wasn't even gonna make the album i was just like i was just like rap i just like i just wanted to like spit like a, a rap verse right. just to like kick off the album and then that made way for songs like the pen and all the songs that followed afterwards and then yeah you know a year of working on it plus and i think only in the beginning of this year did it like really sound and start like a complete album right because at, at first it was just like you know a whole bunch of dope songs that we had uh-huh i was singing on, on over like about 80 songs what yeah you know so Hectic. it was just like yo we got so much fire but like you know and and all the songs were diverse because i don't like staying in like one pocket so it was very difficult for me to stay in the rap pocket only right. like the you know i'm like yo man i want to do like some sing-along stuff some quiet things here and they're like they're like i feel you that's that's nice and everything yeah, but let's but let's lit. just you know <laughs> and i think when we did the stogie tea um freestyle, freestyle friday, friday and like just the reception from that you know that was bananas one, one was like you see we gotta do this and i'm that like i cool i feel you and that's that, that was really like the the inception of like me trusting the idea because i don't like in the whole process of me like working on it also like i oh, man I like it. I mean, I like rapping, but right. I, mean, I don't sit around listening to rap all day. All you know day, every saying? day. I did when I was a lot younger, you know. Yeah, we so, we saw your tweet earlier on, or yeah. was it yesterday? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we saw, we we stays looking battle rap, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, and that's and that's that's really how it came how it came together, and it's been like a beautiful journey, like since you know a journey of like self discovery because I've also been going through like so many um um changes as a as a man i mean since my last project you know i'm a father now i'm yes. married um yes. you know i have i'm doing other a, a whole bunch of other things on the side and um yeah so just coming through with the experience that i just gained and just where i was mentally spiritually emotionally and just putting it on you know pen and pad and and you know and yeah. now on on audio it's just like it's really dope to to sit back and i still haven't listened to the album as like a a fan yet you know I've, i'm why not i and how long how long generally uh after you've you've made the art right yeah. do you kick out of oh we're promoting it now oh this is this that i'm listening in for sonically how does it sound sure. i need to hear it there that and step back and go okay let me let me listen to it as a fan how long generally does it take before you transition jeez it takes me like it takes me a while because while we're working on the project like you know if anyone knows me in studio i'm the type of dude who will be like who do like a hundred takes of a verse like easy yeah and that's not because there's anything wrong with the verse sometimes there's something specific that i'm i'm looking for and just like my tone yeah. and how i'm delivering certain things and and sometimes we do a hundred takes and then like we go through all hundred of them and then we listen back and then we end up using the second take mm-hmm. you know so i uh, can be like a little bit overly pedantic, pedantic. <laughs> yeah you know what i mean and uh, and i was also working in studio with a whole bunch of perfectionists also so we all wanted to see this thing be like <sighs> yeah you know um so because i was hearing it so much and you know i think we've been done recording the album for the last three four months uh, right four months five months actually yeah it's, a, a, it's been a while since we were done i think for the last five months we've just been like mixing mastering shooting visuals you know working on our rollout plan yeah um yeah so because i was i was recording the whole of last year i spent last year every single day i kid you not every single day of last year i was in studio all studios in my place okay you know at least and it's not too far yeah from home. and we're recording every day That's every intense. day so it's like i kind of had to kind of step out of that for a while 
and just before the album dropped maybe i didn't listen to the album for about two months mm. and then i think i listened to it for the first time like last week again just before it dropped like yeah is it is this the one and is this the one feel? that we need and i was happy with it you know yeah. i was happy with it i still need to listen to it again maybe like next week when i'm like not so dear my god but it's not just <laughs> it's not just the album pressure that's been you know life as well just yeah life is just the general state of like right now yeah the atmosphere yeah. in the air you know the world um bad news every day every you know? single you know what i'm saying day. there's we have some real life family members you know that i know friends who've been passing away so i just think just dealing with like just life has just been like a little heavy over the last couple of months but my solace in my like you know release has been finally releasing the album right so i haven't even gotten time to really like delve into like what people are really like even saying because you know we're just burying like you know two of my uncles oh last no, week i'm sorry to hear that you know yeah thank you yeah it's just that's one of those things you know life is so intense right yeah. now but just now you mentioned a couple of things right you mentioned mm. how um rap relay almost didn't make it onto the project yeah. and i'm like wait what yeah. but then you also mention um you know working with a group of perfectionists mm. and i remember i was watching uh the soil diaries yeah. and i think it was um Weechi mm -hmm. who was speaking about you know um and i love the way he put it about everybody who is involved wants the best yeah. but everybody's best is not always exactly. in alignment right different people have different and i remember hearing ideas. him say that and i was like yo for you for mm -hmm. instance you know i mean you work with a great team of people and it takes so many amazing people to make such a beautiful project come yeah. to life but at the end of the day it's pretty ugly soil sure. yeah. right mm -hmm. so how do you make decisions like this stays this goes sure. um I'm going to take what you have to say about mm. it, but also I need to maintain my vision and what's true. Yeah. How do you respect the process of everybody who's involved, but also respect your vision? Sure. Ash, you know, it, it, that was a little difficult and the difficulty mainly came from, you know, I, uh, I always want to please everyone in my team, you know? Mm. So it's like, this one may say like, yo, we need a little bit more bass on this thing. And even if I don't feel like we do, I'll kind of like say, all right, cool, you know, let's add more ah. bass on this, you know. Yo, this one will be like, yo, man, I really don't think you need to rap for three minutes on this one. Maybe like just, your verse is already dope. Maybe just end it there at like, you know, one minute, 30 seconds, you know. Not because the rest isn't dope, but right. like, maybe let the beat ride out. And I'm like, uh, okay, cool. If you if you feel like that, you know, let's go. Um, but that's because like, it's the first time I really worked with a team that was this invested in what I was doing. Yeah. And, okay. and we were, and this is the first project that we were working on together. So it was, it was really like trying to help everyone like get comfortable. But I think towards the end of it, you know, Vaughn had to step in and be like, yo, 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 I cool. I get that. Yo, Wichi, you saying this <laughs> and Zuchi, you're saying this, right. but now Pretty's going to make the decision, you know? Hectic. And then I would have to be like, I cool. Yo, let's go with Zuki's mixes, for instance, instead of Wichi's mixes. You Must know? have been really difficult for a people pleaser. Yeah, it was because you know you really want to make everyone happy, and because we spent so much time working on this thing, it is my project, but I still felt like it's everyone's project. Right. You know, uh, and Vaughn has a cup keep reminding us at the end, like, yo, man, this is this dope. This is our project, but it's Pretty's project. So anyone else who has any ideas of what they'd like to do on their project, on this project. They can do it on their project or the <laughs> next project. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, for now. Phone manage me. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, for now. Let's stick to the goal, and yeah. the goal is like, yo, we're working on a rap album, you know, because in and towards the end, especially during mixing, it was about like Sonic started to come into play, you know, where people are like, yo, man, like, we feel like this thing could slap a little bit more. You right. know what I mean? Yo, yo, we need more of an 808, and one we have to be like, yo, actually. I feel you it would slap a little more if it had a bigger 808 but like we actually don't want the 808 because right. the intent of this album is, is for people to hear this guy rap uh-huh yeah so and we did and yeah because yeah. rap you did sir come on man it's what we do <laughs> it's what we do all right so i'm gonna play a handful of dust sure. just for us to take a musical break and then want to come back and chat a little bit more because i i now have specific Ish. questions not ah. just you know philosophical okay, i have sure. specific questions we're coming back on the other side of this yo pretty you talking about how you sound listening to yourself <laughs> right like, now geez. uh what year are we in we're in 2021 yeah this was uh, 2019, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Mm -hmm. you feel like you sound different you sound uh, mature 
Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, I just sounded like <laughs> quite young. But I feel like that when I listen to like all my old music, anyway, right. and even if it's a song that I did like last year, I'm like, oh man, I sound so young here, you know? Yeah. Well, that's just do you ever like, for instance, as a as a broadcaster, you know, I when I have to do, um, I snoop myself mm. because I feel like you can't keep doing something and not know what you sound like sure. because I know what it feels like yeah. to do this show and it's like <laughs> that feels great, yeah. and then you listen back and you're like. He- hey yeah. what was that. what happened there sure. yeah <laughs> does that happen to you i mean as yeah. artists i think that you're generally more um acclimatized to hearing yourself yeah. um but does that weirdness of oh my god it's me ever go away um with my music not necessarily but like when i watch interviews sometimes <laughs> i'm like damn i talk like that <laughs> why do i talk like that you know sometimes i'm like always saying like a lot like like like, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't notice it when I'm speaking and then I watch the interview back and it's like damn bro <laughs> like all these words that I use in my raps and when I talk such a large you vocabulary know what I'm and then I have such a limited <laughs> vocab when I'm speaking it's like like oh, damn, like, you know? like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, like it annoys me. I was watching the Slicker interview and I like, just couldn't stop cringing. I'm like, oh my Hectic. god. Hectic. Why was I talking like that? <laughs> yeah, That's how anyway. you talk. But people love it, you know. So yeah. Because we're ourselves. We're always gonna like. I'm my. I'm my biggest critic. I'm. I'm like hardest on myself but that's because i have very high standards of like how i see myself and where i feel 100%. like i should be you know so if i feel like i don't <laughs> meet that it's like hey son i'm exactly the same she's yeah. pointing at me like yeah 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 that's you that's what's you, your star sign i'm a pisces mm, i'm an aries ah mm. when exactly your birthday second of april ah yeah. you just missed the great yeah. month oh, the, the, oh, the great, the great month you know the month of <laughs> legends much I is feel you, I the feel month you. Ugh, as much as i'm asking about star signs it's like uh, i'm an aries but like i'm i've never met an aries like me so it's like i don't know yeah because at the end of the day you know like star signs are cool and everything to look at mm. but we are all individual Definitely. people yeah. our backgrounds and yeah. also the decisions that you make For as well sure. so you probably won't find another aries like you just like you won't find another pisces like me sure, I feel you. one of <laughs> one, of one. one, of one yeah. <laughs> all right enough of that yeah. um let's talk soil yes, I would, you know let's uh, really really talk soil sure. uh, so one of the things that i enjoy doing is um I look for certain quotables because mm. I feel like when you listen in at a particular time, there's something that will stand out to you. And then when you listen in even two weeks later, yeah. something else yeah. will stand out to you. And um, I always wonder if it's the same when you're recording music, like this mm. is how you felt at that particular point in time. Mm. But when you listen in, like maybe even two months later, you listen back and go, yeah, I no longer necessarily feel like that. that way yeah. so i'm always interested to kind of unpack those things sure. um i'm not going to go in any particular order i mean we know there's 10 joints uh we've got you know let me out reset whoa whoa uh yes, poltergeist man. interlude loose change and um, so many more um but there's something where i want to start is on poltergeist interlude also because yeah. um earlier on you were speaking about you know certain processes and things that you've been going through and things like that mm-hmm. There's um there's something that you say on Poltergeist Interlude, mm. uh, where you say um, even if you close both your eyes, keep always, always one keep eye yeah, open. Yeah. And for me, I was like, I literally when I was listening, I closed both my eyes and I was like, one eye open, that's a third eye. Yeah. And I wanted to then speak to you about spirituality mm-hmm. and what your thoughts are on that and where you're at with yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly what it is, and I'm glad that you. You, you picked it up I remember one one person on my team was saying like yo when you said that line like when you close both your eyes always keep an, remember keep an open eye yeah, claiming yeah. you're the dopest guy I hope you know you told a lie it's like what do you mean when you said like keep and I'm like yo but when you, if you close both your eyes say you got two eyes you yeah, know third and eye. you have one eye open what what could that be and like the, the dude on my team was like um my, my penis <laughs> no <laughs> way like, oh my <laughs> <laughs> Poor, sorry, I don't even know if that's an appropriate word to that's say okay. on the radio. <laughs> it's okay. I was like, no, dog. <laughs> Absolutely not. <coughs> it's your third eye, bro, you know? Yeah. And- Jeez, yeah, <laughs> dude. I won't even, I won't even expose who that was on the team. But man, like, damn, listen, bro. that person is my hero. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and um, and yeah, and and that's just genuinely like what I believe. Like um, I just feel like not enough people are 
enlightened. I say on on let me out. Not enough people are in search of their purpose. So I just mean yes. like, you know, um, don't always just like think with with your eyes or 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 always be led by more than just your eyes. If it's inclusive of your heart, inclusive of like your brain, your soul, your spirit, like encompass all of that, you know. And um, just going to keeping your third eye open, just like be completely cognizant of the fact that like we are living in a physical realm but mm-hmm. a spiritual realm still exists whether you're aware of it or pr- or care about it or not it is there you know so don't go into life blindsided because you think everything is just about like what happens in the physical it's like, right. you know, just always be open minded why why has it been important for you to uh, really highlight spirituality? I mean, you also gave us a spiritual warfare, but also even on um, on Let Me Out, you say don't live by the vi- by the Bible, um, but, but rehearse the verses, verses, right? Yeah. Um, so there's a strong spirituality mm. theme. I wouldn't necessarily say religion, but spirituality, sure, taking sure. care of spirit. Um, why is it important for you to highlight that right about now? Because that's. Um you know, I feel like that's what our essence is as uh, as human beings, especially as African people. I feel like us as African people have lost like sight of like um, where we come from. One, um, and because we've lost sight of where we come from, it's very hard to like channel where we're going. Yes, and a lot of people are just just living this world like just aimlessly. And what's kept me focused, you know has been my spirituality you know what's kept me from doing dumb stuff right has been my spirituality and even even in certain traditional practices that i've gone through uh why not the most simple one is like my lobola process right you know? it's like just even going into that thing has just like opened up so many channels for me and from that from that from that point of view, just before we got me and Butler got married, you know, we put a tombstone on her father's grave, and and he had been gone for you know 21 years at that time. This is three years ago, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and and his grave was missing. Actually, really, you know, um, rest in peace to him. You know, he he committed suicide. Oh no! And I think just as a result, you know, like maybe you know people kind of felt like down about that his gravesite wasn't really visited much and then yeah. eventually like you know we kind of like lost it long story cut short when we decided to find the grave and you know and do the right thing traditionally like all the blockages that we had already had that we had been experiencing in that time kind of like just mm. And, you know, just before that, Bunda had been getting, like, miscarriages. And then after that, you know, as soon as we put the tombstone on her father's grave, we found out that she was pregnant. And now we're getting married. And, you know, and that and that whole process started Crazy. happening. And, yeah, and, you know, her my spiritual awakening came from me being with her. You know, so, so when I say doing the right things, it's just like, just because I wanted to do right by her, you know, and that just maybe just like being in love in jail, for lack of a better word, made me stop doing like stuff that I would have done that would have, you know, probably ended my life, actually. Uh-huh. You know? And a lot of people focus on too many things that can end their lives instead of just focusing on the right things. So I'm not going to sit here and say, yo, get married, get this. I'm just saying that like, yo, when you start to honor your ancestors and yourself and you really get into knowing yourself, um, you become like a, a, a better you know, a better version of yourself in in, less, in in not too many words. So me getting into this album, you know, um, I mean, we just went into COVID last year and the Bro. pandemic, so many things are happening. You know? <laughs> Yo. So it really gave you a, a lot of time to um, sit and introspect, yes. learn, you know. And in that time, I was going through like a lot of like African spirituality, you know, um, just documentaries and conversations with elders and etc and that just like opened me up to like so much that i just needed to like speak about it in the music how do you go from um you know now you wanting to get a little bit more information you want to understand a little bit more right Mm. and one thing that i find i think especially when we move into uh african spirituality at first it can be exceptionally scary of course um i think the unknown always is and especially if you are from uh either a background or whatever it is that has you in a place of not knowing Mm. right and then you start to do more research you start to do more research and you speak to people 
and now you know yeah. um how do you go from that initial fear of this is actually quite intense this is pretty scary mm. this is pretty real and then getting to a level of comfort mm. to be able to create art sure. attached to it yeah for me it's like i didn't have, even have to think about it because like i was living it so much that like i was already encompassing it and like people who were around me were like yo man your energy and your mm-hmm. aura feels different Different. you know and i didn't know like what it was and i was just like yo man because i feel like i'm i'm walking with the higher power and with the higher sense of purpose just Mm -hmm. generally and they're like oh man all right cool Uh, and then like we'd have like ideas for songs you know um like what what song like yeah like like let me out you know let me out already the beat was titled let me out yes you know and um and then you know me and Shooter Coombs who produced the beat were speaking about like where it could be or where it could go or whatever and then eventually I just took the lead and he was like damn bro I didn't even think about it like that like where did that even come from right. it's like yo this, that's not even really what we're thinking about but like, you took it to a, do- a whole different level you know how did you do that and I was just like yo bro like I was just writing all this in my heart you know where and that's something I'd always refrain from when I was young because I felt like I didn't want to sound boring or preachy yes or you know but i was like yo even if like what i'm saying is wrong or doesn't have the most amount of information what's dope about this and like letting it be out there is that people will learn from it and people who know better will be there to correct and be like yo this is actually and it actually starts the conversation like yo no 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 that's not actually like what it's it's meant when when Mudimu said this, this he actually meant it this in this happens. kind of way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm also still learning. I don't. There's a lot I don't know about the spiritual realm, but I, the little that I do feel, I wanted to express in the music. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Thank so, you. I also picked up on, um, uh, for me anyway, when I was listening in, this idea of self mastery and self control mm-hmm. um and choice yeah. as well and a lot of that so um i mean when when <clears throat> i listen to reset and there's you can never judge a horse by the saddle it gets yeah. right um that's like you know you don't choose your environment you don't choose the circumstances that you find yourself exactly. in but there is choice in mm-hmm. a lot of the things that you do yeah. and i wanted to know when you hear choice and self mastery mm how do you define those mm. and what do they mean yo like when it comes to choices it's like we are like irrespective of what you've learned and what you believe in you are defined by your choices yeah you know because you could have great intent but like what you actually decided yo, to do in that moment on it you know what i'm saying it's just like mm, you know so it's our choices are very important which goes back to like what i was saying earlier on like yes and me just honoring just like myself and my spirituality i became like a better man a better husband for my wife you know a better father for my daughter um and a, a better brother for my sister a better son for my parents you know yeah and that and that came when i started to you know delve into my spirituality a little bit more like my choices became better and i just saw from me choosing my family and choosing you know my spirituality and i don't want to make it about god or jesus or whatever but i'll say like god walking in the image of god and i, I and for me it's not it's not a deep thing just walking in love you know mm-hmm. being there to serve you know so it has an even deeper meaning it's just like you know um s- s- serving others you know invites love serving others inherits loyalty serving others um oh there's just so many you know um there's just just there's just so many so but now back to like self mastery is like now in the choices that you make i've always wanted to make choices that better me as a person mm-hmm. you know so that i can be of better service to the people who i'm i'm there to love you know because like if i'm of better service then i can i'm there to help you better because i'm in a better state i'm what well, you know like you can't uh, what's 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 the english there's an english english metaphor it's like you can't um you can't fill someone else's cup when your cup is hot when yours is empty when, yeah. when yours is empty you really need to be filled up so that you can you can pour, pour to someone else's saucer exactly yeah. now if you have nothing 
to give is just like and you you're giving you're depleting yourself you know what i'm saying so so people are actually draining your energy instead of you like actually like transferring that energy and charging people up right. so with the choices that you make so with self mastery like if you're operating at your optimum level you know just doing the right thing meditating sometimes just having time to yourself just time to introspect time to write down to think about the things that you're trying to do you know you're already of better service to everybody around you yeah. you know um I don't know if I summed it up in yeah. I just felt like if I was going if, if I went like a little too deep I, I mean you wouldn't have had another chance to ask me another question <laughs> <laughs> it was, was, was going to get like really deep, you know? All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm mm. going to take the last musical break. I'm going to play uh, Soil one more time, and then we're going to come back and uh, wrap it all up. Yeah, let's get it. Go! Yeah, so that's a real chat. It is still the Elements uh, 2.0. I think that's what we can call it. Yeah. Element 2.0. Yes, sir. Cause it, I'm it's, a co-host now. Oh, what really? What baby? I'm in a building. I don't want you to be a this co-host. This is my other job. <laughs> <laughs> now. Because if you're a co-host, it means you ask questions. I'm not trying to answer questions. <laughs> I'm not trying to answer questions. I like to ask them. Right, because sure. that's nice and simple and easy. But uh, answering them is like, what? Wait, you want to know what I think? Yeah, Whoa, uh-huh. that's a little bit intense. I feel you. So, um... You mentioned just now, um, before before we went on the musical break, you mentioned love quite a bit. Mm. Um, and it makes me think of, whoa, whoa. Yes, ma'am. Obviously. Yes, ma'am. Um, but also, there, or rather, we have been fortunate enough for you and your amazing wife yeah. to share that part or certain parts mm. of that part of your life yeah. um, with us. So talk to me about love and marriage it's and just, yeah, it's so just dope, man. being a husband. It's so fire, especially like when you're doing it with um, when you're on this journey with someone that you. She's like my best, my best friend. I call him Bench more than I call her baby. Baby, <laughs> or, you know, it's like she's genuinely like my best friend, like number one fan. I'm her number one fan. It's just, it's just like she doesn't even have to like fan on my social media for like some like someone tweeted like last week some you know they tagged in and they're like yo i think it's very disappointing Buntle, how you know your husband has this dope project out and and in this time we're not seeing you post about it and whatever and it's just like um i looked at that like my nigga you know what i'm saying but uh first of all come on uh, <laughs> yeah, one, yeah. let's just that yeah. you know what i hate about that as well Jeez. for instance when that whole conversation of oh pretty ugly can't rap whatever whatever mm. she was very vocal about yeah. it and it's the same people who are like but you're not saying anything exactly. about this amazing project who are like who are telling her yo to quiet relax like, you know this isn't saying? your lane we know you're just saying that because you love him sure you i'm know, not with that i'm you know boy do we know you know so it's just like <laughs> her being in my life is all the support that i need you know what i'm saying because people don't like people are too focused on like social guys clearly we see her like a lot of things that we idolize and like whatever on social media are like facades you social know? media is not real life guys yeah bro so it's it just is like not. we really focus on like showing each other real love personally mm-hmm and like and, and if people think we look in love on social media then it's just like yo dog that's only like we showing we only showing you guys a fraction of like 100 what our love really really is you know and like she's my best friend you know um um i was actually i really one thing i, I really wanted to do was like feature on the on the project mm-hmm. and squeeze it in somewhere and on Wowo, more specifically, towards the end, we were like, yo, man, maybe it would be dope if Bunche does, like, some backings. And she was also, like, down. Because on You Don't Know Me Yet, she did backings. Yes. Egypt. There yes. were features. And then we did Red Jade. Red Jade, yeah. You know? Um, and then we just never got we just never got to doing it, you know? Um, but, yeah, but Wowo, Wowo was, like, a, ah, that's, that's you know, that's that's my dude, man. Like That's, like, a, a thug love song. Yeah, you know You know, what because I'm it's not li- your... You are the stars in nah. the sky. And the you know, you don't want that corny <laughs> but stuff. But when you hear you know? it, you know that this is love. I, I, like I, I, I said it before. Like yo, Wo Wo is a love song, and it's dedicated to the lady, but it's for the guys. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's just like because most guys are like, yo, man. Like I've had people who come to me like personally, like even some people in my team to say like, yo, 
like yo i love i love when you do the other stuff in different pockets or whatever but like because i've never really like been in love and stuff like yo it's kind of difficult for me to hear you in that light <laughs> and TCC, you know but i really love those songs and i was just like yo i actually wanted to do a song for like people like them like yo people like who really yeah man like just people who don't want to listen to like some corny love songs and i also don't want to hear like no corny love song and i'm not saying like being in love and being expressive of that love is corny it can be corny. sometimes it can be mad corny it can that's be mad not corny you know so you it's know. like yeah i just wanted to do like a really like jiggy one you know like where you know like even how i'm speaking about her just like in such like a, a gangster way like i don't know who i was channeling when i was doing that but like i was definitely thinking about like jay-z you know mm-hmm. like yo how how hove would like hop on a song type situation you know like like when i'm talking about a like, reasonable doubt type right hove, you know um so that's why like yo my 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 chick la coco chanel like coco she right. smell she draw so i wanted to sound like it was like a poetry room you know uh-huh. like uh, i remember watching um uh, my wife and kids and junior on, on my wife and kids says something like but he was into poetry and he did like mary mary to I the contrary <laughs> you know that's actually really what i was thinking about so it's just like Hexic. you know so I, was, I was trying to think about like when i was writing that's what i was thinking but obviously like you know the beat like gives it like a little bit more of a jig and even like in how we use the word b you know yeah i actually and wanted like, to talk yeah, to you about that because yeah. um your yeah no let me not term in that yeah. but people mm. who um you know are of a certain school yeah. or a certain class mm. would be like how dare you that's use the b yeah. word when you talk about that's your yeah. wife yeah. Yeah. how dare yeah. you yeah. you yeah. don't respect yeah. right um and i'm not saying that they might not have their reasons or that they can't make their arguments sure. or not have merit um that's that's all good yeah. but where do you where do you sit on it even outside of you know making use of it in the music like what's your general thought on it because i for instance if i had to be on that side of the school Mm -hmm. i'd be like but you have a daughter and water 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 um but i'm also in hip-hop sure you know as like to really be honest with you i don't use the word in in general life in real life i don't actually i really don't and when I was writing the song, I was like, yo, man, I don't want to re- refer to her as like, yo, like I said, I was trying to make like a gangster-esque, mm-hmm. you know, like type of love song. So I don't want to be like, yo, my love, like Coco. She mm-hmm. was like, yo, I want to call her my B. But that's because like when I'm playing around with her and she's looking fly at home, I'm like, yo, you, hey, you, are, you bad, are bad, bad. <laughs> you are bad, you know, B, you know? Right. So when I'm writing that, it's just like, and she knows it, like, yo, it's, it's, it's and it's really about her because she would get it so it's just like it's for her it's like it's an it's a term of endearment you know and right. it's like but i'm like how do i justify that because if i'm only just saying b it's just like yo man it, it is kind of disrespectful so how do i like change change what it means you know mm-hmm. i'm like yo man let me make it like a let me switch up this acronym like b will stand for you know beautiful right, right. you know yeah, B, because you're black and you're beautiful. Yeah. Like, cutie from your beauty to your cuticles. Right. I, intellectual, intelligent. You know, so I, I wanted to play with that, you know, and in the end, I'm like, yo, I hate calling the woman itches. But the bad itches love it. You know? <laughs> but the bad itches love it. And if you put a bad before the itch, yeah. then the sisters are covered. You know, they love that, you know? Because right. it's just like, yeah, because a lot of women don't like to be called that. But it's just like, yo, man, but if you call me a bad, a baddie it's, it's, you it's make like it positive like, you know, yeah you know <laughs> so it's like even like when I watch like a Nadia and a Kai interview and I see how she'll be like yo man I'm a bad bitch like right. you know I see like how she like oh she's not saying you must call me that oh but, hell no you know so let me tell yeah. you because I, I was having this uh, conversation mm. with uh, some, somebody sure. um, <laughs> and <laughs> the whole thing is one I believe that if your wife said i don't like that yeah. you wouldn't do it definitely right yeah. um so there's that because i think that i think also because because there are certain elements of your relationship that you guys show to us mm. people have the strong sense of 
I can't weigh in. Yeah. I know what they're exactly. about. Let me speak up for her, whatever, whatever. Mm. But people don't understand that this is a real life relationship yeah. that happens where we don't see anything. Sure. Um, and, you know, there has to be a respect. I, I, For me, it would be very difficult to believe that you'd be out there running itches everywhere if she would be offended by it or she wouldn't Definitely. appreciate it, right? Definitely. So that's the first thing for me. I'm like, yo, don't forget that this is something that was intended for this specific person yeah. and surely she heard it before we got yeah, it and if sure. she's cool, yeah. that's really the most important cosign. Um, and I think also it's it's really just a personal thing and it's also, I think, context as well Definitely. because, um, you know, it's a conversation we have even with the team. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's your energy. You know, sometimes when Chules and I are joking around. She'll yeah. be like, B, water, water, water. Yeah. And we laugh about it. Exactly. But, but what's not going to happen sure. is any one of us standing outside and going, Hey, yo, B, or yeah. you're really being a B today. It's like, yo, it's you, like, you, know, you got to have the like, right energy around it as an well. Energy thing for and, sure. and I wanted to ask, and the reason I asked you about it also is because, you know, with everything that um, has been happening with Kanye, for instance, mm. and he dropped this J verse. So the natural inclination was sure. everybody went back to listen to Watch the Throne. Sure. And there's that joint on there called That's My yeah. B. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. I was like, yo where we at with this kind yeah, of thing so i really sure. like i really like the way that you um put it down all right so thank you to wrap up this love part as yeah. well i wanted to know from you what is the greatest lesson that you have learned about yourself through your wife and through yeah. your daughter oh that's a beautiful one jeez <laughs> what is the lesson i've learned about myself um, through your wife and then through your daughter damn i learned so so much really damn Oof. i start with my daughter like i see her that cutie yeah man i, I see her like fearless like mm. she's fearless you know like i got a pit bull at home you know oh and like hell no and she'll look that pit bull like in the face like yo you know and poke his eye and his ears and i'd have to be like yo you know but like that's how like fearless like she is you know and and then my parents would see that and they'd be like yo she reminds us just of you i was like damn i was like i was wow. like that because africa is like you know she's scorpio big scorpio energy oh. you know i yo. call her big scorpio <laughs> you know <laughs> like, like yo you know so so when i see that and like my my parents and people you know who raised me are like yo man she, she was just like you that's you <laughs> like yo i didn't even I didn't even know because I also don't have a major reference of myself as a as a youngin. I just see like what life has molded me into becoming. You right. Know? Uh, whether it's through my fears or through my triumphs or like friends or whatever the case is, the school I was in, the environment that I was in. But like at the core, this is what you are: brave, you're strong, you're yeah. powerful, you're there. You know. Yeah. And just through my through my through my wife, um, yo. Know, before I met B, I never I never smiled in pictures. You know, I'm from the east, you know, so it's just like, we, it's, it's golly, dog. You know what I'm saying? Beast rap. Even how I used, to, <laughs> I used to deliver, it was always like, yo, what you told her? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where the vrrr comes from. It was right, just right. like aggression, you know? So, yeah, I was always like, you know, sometimes you put on like a hard front, you know, because like, because the rest of the world isn't like very friendly. So no. like you're always told to like put your guard up. And like just being with her, man, I could I could be like quirky and like fun and joking, and now now I'm always smiling. <laughs> and people see me in interviews and pictures, are just like, yo, bro, you always smiling. I'm like, yeah, dog, because like life is like beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yeah, there's hardships, but color season fits. You know, True. like to call is not to see. Come on, dog. to call <laughs> is not to see. Exactly, bro. You know, so I think yeah, through my wife, man, just. Ah oh, man, it's just ah, oh, there's too much. I can't even say it. <laughs> but like, man, yeah. But anything like when I had no one supporting me, she supported me. She was like, "Yo, bro, like, I know you know your fire, but I want you to know that I know that you're even more fire than you think That's than you think beautiful. you are." So, that, but so because she was always like there, I could never feel like. Ash, maybe because everyone else doesn't support me, maybe I'm not that fire. I'm gonna you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> yeah. nah, dog, you that nigga. Go in. So, so shout out to her yeah. shout out to her yeah. all right so the last thing to round it all up yeah. and i think it'll round it up quite nicely mm. um you have now changed like the title mm. 
Anya Tore to the son of the soil. Mm-hmm. Son from the soil. The son from the soil, right? Mm. But it's not son, S O N. Yeah. It's son. Yeah. Talk to me about that because, I mean, if you if you know about soil, sun, mm. water, all these different elements mm. and how they come together, mm. I think that's a pretty strong statement that you're making there. Yeah. And I want you to unpack it for me before that's, we dip. That's definitely what I am, you know. Um, not to make it about star signs or whatever, you know, but I'm a fire. Do that thing. I'm a fire sign. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know that I'm light. My father's name is Liboni. Oh, know? that's beautiful. Yeah. So so I am the son of Liboni. So I'm the son son of the light and what provides light for the for the world, for the earth, for the you know, for our I guess world is the sun. You know, so I'm not just a son from the soil because I feel like we're all children of the soil. Of the soil. You know, we all are. Um, I'm not just a son from the soil. I am the son from the soil. I'm like, I am a burning part of, yo, of, of, you know, of energy, you know, like, uh, if you look at the soil artwork behind me actually is, is the sun. But in, in, in other in other worlds it's Mars. In other worlds it's a spirit bomb. And I feel like I am that spirit bomb. I carry a spirit bomb wherever like I go. And in a lot of the rooms that I step into with the people that I speak to, you know, a lot of people, you know, Slicko just couldn't stop telling me when I was with him, he's like, Yo man, like you are light. You 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 there's just so much like light in you and without him having to tell me that is like I know. Yeah. You know, and what what does the sun what does the sun give us? It, it gives us light. It gives us life. Gives it life gives us well, energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to s- sit and be biological about like what the sun is. The like, properties if you go do, of the sun. Yeah, if you go do research <laughs> on like, you know, what the sun helps us with and how plants grow and whatever, none of that is possible without the sun. Us living is not possible. So I'm saying that like. The energy that I possess inside me is as much as like what the sun is to the world. And I'm not that to the earth. I'm saying I am the sun that is actually, that's actually grown from, from the, the earth. earth. So I'm the sun from the soil, you know. Uh, I'm the African child, the African sun. It's just like in the older I'm becoming, like I, uh, I need to, you know, own up to it more. Yeah, and live it. And... And express it and not be afraid of it and harness that power yeah but for good i'm proud of you thank you so much this is a beautiful project i could talk to you for hours i could I but could. we ain't got those yeah. hours yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you for unpacking with me i love the project i love the energy that you have right now not that you've ever had bad energy yeah. ever yeah. um but you definitely are vibrating higher thank you so um, much and i look forward to more I'm excited. We got a lot more. Like yeah. I said, we recorded over a hundred songs. So, yeah. I mean, I could stop recording now and still be dropping for the next five years. Heck, but that's not gonna happen, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not gonna happen, though. Yeah. All right, uh, Don Tabs. Do you want to say thanks to your idol and uh, you know the person you came I to don't see? Tabby, my dog. <laughs> don't Tabby came to see me in the studio today, man. I feel anointed. Umutli, Don Tabby came to see who? Him. <laughs> the truth, the truth shall out. <laughs> the truth shall out and now it is out and I'm about to be out uh, shout out to Pretty Ugly thank you so much for yes, hanging so out with me I, I want to say a shout out to my entire team Mr. Instro I'm sure Ufedi Takari means Lady Macaroni Yo, can I just say before we close hit it yo guys um, if anyone or to anybody to everybody that's listening actually kubara voting do you know as to who you vote for whatever but like make a proper decision because like the only the only way we can spark change in the country right there's a lot of ways we can spark change we need to mobilize we need to come together we need to know what we're doing as the youth and what our responsibility is as a youth because we're actually the only people who can change what the future of South Africa is and if we don't come together and if we're not if we don't make like like concise decisions and really like start thinking about the future generation um, we're going to be in very big trouble so it starts with with us voting and and I know like you're probably thinking like yo man who do we vote for is like yo man I also don't know but just like do your research, try and get involved somehow because the only way we can really make a difference as far as like the political system is involved, is concerned, is that we need to vote. So 
Yeah, and I'm not happy with, you know, who's in power. And my father is MK to the core. Yeah. We grew up ANC. So I'm not making a political thing. I'm just saying that, like, our leadership has really let us down. And as a youth, we need to come together to make a change. Thank and you. And there it is. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Instro. Just choose. Show my taka. Thanks. Shout out to Tepo Water, always handling the videography. Uh, to my in studio guest, Short No Hidden Agenda. How's it? How's it? Vinyl T. Don Tebs, I know you're here to sort of see me. <laughs> uh, you are welcome anytime. I think Mara, next time, how old pretty must not be here so that I can be sure that it's about me <laughs> yeah that's what we're going to do and since i'm the co-host of the show now <laughs> you guys might see me here every week baby so you might see pretty here every week all right so i have to officially close the show and the way that we officially close the show is through knowledge of self so i actually took um a young cut from the soil diaries because i thought that what um zuchi was saying is super super inspirational mm. and that's what knowledge of self is all about taking something back that you can carry with you outside of your favorite music outside listening to an interview with your favorite artist so that is what you are about to hear zuchi coke dope you can find this all you have to do is head out to youtube check out the gas the channel that is the the the, the gas the gas and uh, you'll find all the episodes that you need there and you'll see um them talking about soil and a lot more i'm out uh, yeah bye-bye shop <laughs>